Hey, welcome to this edition of Transformation in 10. Going to share a brief uh, thought, some wisdom with you today. Uh, as you know, that I'm still, you know, I'm in recovery, thank God, of having been healed of the, uh, the Chinese virus, and I'm doing a lot better. Praise God for all of that. I'm in recovery, uh, just still dealing with some voice issues. So if I sound nasally or different today, bear with me. Uh, also still working on getting my energy back. I'm not 100% there yet, so we're going to keep it short and sweet and to the point, uh, but thank you again for everyone uh, who's been praying for me and my daughter, Brooke. We appreciate it, and your prayers are working. Thank you so much. So I, I want to drop this on you as it relates to the battle over the word of the Lord in our lives. For the prophet or for the prophetic person, the battle begins once the word's been released. Once you release the word of the Lord out of your mouth, if you're a prophet or a prophetic person and the, the Lord gives you a word, and now there's a difference between a word from the Lord, that is a revelation, uh, an impartation of understanding where the Lord by his spirit is very clear with you concerning a matter, you know that he has spoken. If you're not sure if he's spoken, then he hasn't. When God speaks, you know. And, and it's really when he speaks that the battle begins. So for the prophet or for the prophetic person, the battle begins once the word of the Lord has been released. Now, Psalm 105 tells us in relationship to Joseph that the word of the Lord tried him. It tested, it examined, it scrutinized him. You study his journey from beginning in Genesis chapter 37 through uh, chapter 41 when he gets delivered. Uh, you, you find that everything he went through was the result of him releasing the word of the Lord in the form of the two dreams he had through his mouth. And I'm talking to people today, and this is why I'm addressing this, because you're battling uh, some pretty intense battles. You're you're dealing with some pretty intense stuff, and for some, there is a war within the war. Uh, you're you're in a process of sorts, and now all of a sudden you're dealing with this this uh, sudden eruption of conflict. So there is that dynamic. We see that with Joseph as well. But what I'm on here to tell you today is that the battle you're in is because of the legitimacy of the word of the Lord over your life. The word of the Lord has been trying you as it tried Joseph. The legitimacy, here, here's what I want you to grasp. You got to get this. The legitimacy, the truth, the rightness, the rightfulness of what God said, what you heard him say, what he revealed to you and released through you is, de is revealed by the level of opposition, warfare, or craziness that happens after you receive the word and after you've released that word first. So for the prophet or the prophetic person, the battle begins once the word of the Lord has been revealed and released. So we see that with Joseph. Here's the good news. The word of the Lord is tried because the word of the Lord is triumphant. I want to say it again, and here's what you need to know. When you're in warfare, now listen, when you're in warfare, it doesn't feel triumphant. It doesn't seem triumphant. In fact, it seems everything opposite. It's the place of contradiction. And some right now, you're watching this and you're battling, you're enduring, you're going through that place or that phase in your journey of contradiction and opposition that looks like Der derailment, deception. See, that's a big part of it. When, when you're battling because of the word of the Lord over your life and the legitimacy of that word that's come to you and through you, then what happens is it doesn't just look like uh, you, you, you got delayed. It really looks like you got derailed. It looks like you got destroyed as if that word was deceptive. The enemy comes and attacks you by using contrary, contrary information, opposition, and the contradictions that ensue 
once the battle over the word of the Lord in your life begins, he does that to try to convince you that you were in deception and that what you heard or, quote, thought you heard was in and of itself a deception. What I'm here to teach you today is that opposition is not deception. Opposition is an indication that you were correct, that you did hear from God, and that you were absolutely right in your willingness to attach your faith and your human expectations to what you heard God say. So as I conclude, I need you to know this. You've been battling because of the word of the Lord over your life. That word that's being tested and tried is already triumphant, and the Lord's going to keep his covenant with you. You did not miss God. What you're enduring is the blowback of warfare that accompanies a legitimate prophetic word from God. Maybe you're an emerging prophet. Maybe there's a prophetic anointing, a prophetic mantle on your life, and you're going through some things that just didn't make any sense to you. It's like, wow, <clears throat> the warfare has really been elevated since I agreed with God about that crazy thing I heard, and I dared to build around it. And now all this chaos has ensued. In, 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 a, in a good way, that's a good thing. Warfare never feels good, but it is good because it's an indication that there's an emerging prophetic identity in your life and something dynamic is going to emerge. Let me say that again. Something dynamic is going to emerge when you exit your warfare, warfare season. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven and you will emerge triumphant over the warfare season in your life. You see, the very word that tries you is the same word that triumphs you. You're going to triumph over the warfare because of the legitimacy of the word you carry. Ultimately, God's word cannot be delayed because it has an appointment with it. And it certainly hasn't been defeated because God doesn't speak to lie. He speaks to create movement and to bring things into existence. So be encouraged today. Your warfare is an indication of an emerging prophetic identity in you. You're in really good company. And you're going to triumph because of the word you heard God say. And the test is merely a season of warfare. And you're going to triumph mightily over everything that has come against you because of the word that was revealed and you dared to release. For the prophetic person, the word begins, or the warfare begins when the word is released. But you're in good company. You're in a company of overcomers. You're in a prophetic company of triumphant men and women. I love you. Thanks for connecting here in a Metro Life Church. Talk to you soon.